Hi, this is Martin Lamonica with CNET News. I'm speaking with Stuart Haber, uh, who's the CEO of a company called IST Energy, which uh, has a machine that he's standing in front of that converts uh, trash to electricity. So, uh, Stuart, can you just tell us basically what, you, what, <laughs> what you've designed here, what you've built here? Absolutely. We've designed a waste to energy conversion system. And the system can handle uh, a number of mixed wastes, including paper, plastics, food, agricultural waste, and wood. And what we do is we deposit those materials into our system at one end, at the front end. At the back end, we end up converting all of that to electricity and gas heat. Okay, now do you need to sort out the trash so only certain kind of trash can go in? Um, of, the, of the items I mentioned, the paper, plastics, wood, food, agricultural waste, it's mixed. It does, that does not have to be separated out or sorted in any fashion. However, we don't want metals and glass to go into the system. Uh, metals and glass have no uh, energy content, and so while the system can handle it, all we all we'd end up with is uh, an aqueous ash at the end if we were to put those materials through. So we prefer they not go into the system. Okay, now this is a gasifier, which is different than burning. Absolutely. Right? Now is that cleaner than burning? Well, actually it's completely cleaner because with burning, with incineration, there are emissions. With our process, the downdraft gasifier, there are zero emissions. So the gem, this is everything in this ISO container, has zero emissions. The only emissions would be at the outer end when the customer decides what unit they want to use to actually generate that electricity and gas heat with our synthetic gas. If they use fuel cells, which could be available down the road, there would be probably zero emissions there. Uh, they could use a micro turbine, which would be very low emissions. But if they choose to use a generator, then there would be a little higher emissions, all within regulations. So the gas fire makes the synthetic gas, and then that gas right. can be used in a fuel cell or, or a generator. It could go through a, uh, a boiler, a furnace, a yeah. generator, less, as I say, fuel cells, uh, micro turbine, a number of options available. Okay. But everything, everything in our gem is zero emissions. Okay. So before you open it up and uh, show us the pieces to it, so who do you expect to use this, this uh, device? Well, the, uh, the market is huge. There's, um, you know, we're, we're talking about focusing on uh, hospitals, universities, arenas, stadiums, prisons, military, industrial plants, really any, any organization, any entity that, um, that generates at least two tons of waste per day. Okay. okay. So can you open it up? Absolutely. Let's take a look. You need to know what you're doing there. Okay. Great. So, uh, so yeah. So, you just describe the major pieces in this. Uh, Absolutely. Right here we have the shredder. So, the material is going into the top of it. You can see a little bit of cardboard sticking out of the top of it right now. Uh, all, all the waste goes through the shredder. It comes through this, this tunnel here. Uh, and in a form that's, uh, I'll show you. The waste would end up looking like this in a shredded form. That shredded material will run into this may go through a number of processes for us to take the moisture out of the content. Uh, into the green pelletizer that we have there. Ultimately into a storage bin and into the back of the unit, which is the gasification. Okay. Outside the box of the uh, gas, there are processes where the gem is done. So when that synthetic gas will then be converted by, as we talked about earlier, a uh, generator or a microphone, etc. And that's outside the box and that's a customer's design. So this is self-generated then? It is self-generated. Once you get started, uh, the entire process uh, runs on, on its own. There's no, it no longer needs any electricity or any kind of power. It has its own power. Okay. And then if someone were going to use this, um, can they literally just they, they'd have to change the way they, they, get, they get rid of their waste, I guess? They'd have to put it into this machine once a day or well, several times a day? Several times a day. However, what you don't see here is that there'll be a front loader. Uh, we're working on that design now, and our customers will receive as part of the gym a front loader. It will be an automatic, essentially a dumpster loaded into the, uh, the shredder so that they will not have to manually feed it. They will only manually feed the dumpster, which really replaces the other dumpsters that they would have right now. Okay. So this will be extremely auto uh, automatic, and um, you know, it's the kind of thing where they would even need any additional labor at all. Okay, great. Thanks.